What up all of you soft rebooted franchise? It is Jules here for WhatCulture.com, joined as ever by my beautiful son. I was going to say, co-pilot B is my son. He's just blood, isn't he? I mean, I but can't now. be a co-pilot. In... Well, you're beautiful nonetheless. Oh. It's Ewan and Jules here together. And that can mean only one thing. Say that jingle. Looks like there's news of brewing. Guess it's time for Jules and Ewan. Yes, mate! Damn, that is some spicy, spicy pumpkin latte oh. sauce, that is. Right, so, what's going on in the world today? You know, the whole Disney thing, we're all very excited about the Star Wars stuff. And I'm like, yeah, very much looking forward to being uh, assimilated by their Disney program. One thing that flew under the radar, mm. or so to speak, was the Marvel content and the fact that Disney streaming service is going to cause some changes for the Netflix stuff as we now know it. Okay. So you know how we all have Daredevil, Jessica Jones. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of confusion today. People are really genuinely quite terrified that they're going to get like uprooted and go to the Disney streaming service. Yeah. But yeah. there's some stuff we need to clarify. Okay. All those shows are totally safe right. at Netflix. They're okay. totally chill. Um, until like 2019, where there could be a potential thing where like Disney wants to pull it across. Yeah. The problem that I've been seeing today is that New 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 series of Marvel. So mm -hmm. like you look at um The Punisher, that's like kind of the newest thing that's come yep. out. Um they're not gonna make any more new shows for the Netflix stuff, so they're all gonna go to oh, Disney. I see. And that presents a problem because we don't know how family friendly the yeah. Disney oriented streaming services yeah. is and whether we're gonna still see R rated content on that kind of thing. I mean that's been Netflix's biggest draw point is the fact that they've done effectively R rated uh comic book superhero TV shows, Indeed. whereas Disney don't really have a track record for the blood, the guts, yeah. the violence sort of thing. Uh, I don't see them pulling, even if like there was a case, because mm. the, the deal between Marvel TV and um, Netflix is totally separate, it's totally mm -hmm. separate to this whole Disney thing, but obviously Disney are the overriding thing, they own Marvel, they could totally uproot those franchises if they, they wanted to, even wasn't. though there is kind of some sort of delegated, like... Mm -hmm. um, but for now, but for keep... now they're safe, so don't worry. We're still going to get Daredevil season three, Jessica yeah. Jones season two. It's no, all going to be fine. I'm but... just worried now because it's like the Punisher is a good example of this because he's he walks around, he kills people, then he asks some questions afterwards. If it was Disney in charge of that, with the sort of track record that they've got, he'd be taking all of his people he's going to kill mm. to court, and it'd yeah. be a long drawn out process, or... costing him all of his money. Oh, he just doesn't have. He's just a working stiff. Maybe he just sings and like the animals of New York Ooh. come and attack. Um, punish a musical. Ooh. Yeah. That's uh, neither option sounds appealing to me. I don't know, I'd be down for Punisher singing and just getting like do we remember what sounds to Spider Man the musical? And Shrek the musical, which apparently is quite good. Oh apparently it is. Shrek is a superhero. He is. Have you not seen those discounted Chinese um, action figure lines where it's like <laughs> Power Rangers, yeah, Justice just, League, it's, Shrek? I think, I think it was like, it was, and then it was like Lightning McQueen. No, so that was the best bit. Go to China. It's a place of opportunities. That's what we're trying to say here. But also, that's interesting because mm -hmm. if Netflix are going to lose a lot of their shows, which let's face it, are huge draws mm -hmm. to people for people to subscribe in the first mm -hmm. place, that means that that's a lot of quality content that Disney going to get. I've heard that Disney are going to have a lower price point than yeah. Netflix as well. That's going to mean that people are just going to be like, well, it's, it's going to have to be one or the well, other. Well, at this point, again, there is no, there's nothing to suggest that the Netflix shows will be moving across the streaming service. But, but eventually, but eventually yeah. the, Disney could do that. If the Disney streaming service turns out to be a more universal kind of mm -hmm. both family friendly and adult oriented mm -hmm. kind of content service, then you could see these, these shows be moved across. They could just take the toys, basically, and just do what they want. I wouldn't be surprised if, if um, we saw seasons go, okay, season three or four is going to be on the Disney streaming yeah. thing. Like, you'll only get these two and they'll I'll only be on here for like a year or two before they're taken off. The really disappointing thing about this is that there have been conversations in the past two years of people who are really excited to see Marvel take advantage of Netflix mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and use that kind of thing to springboard their R-rated properties. We are not going to get a Blade series on Netflix now, or like ah. a Ghost Rider series on Netflix, or even a Moon Knight series now, because... That's disappointing. If, Because the thing that happened yesterday as well was like Disney announced that they would have an unnamed Marvel TV series to go mm -hmm. with their Disney streaming service. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly gutted. I'm, I'm, mm. I'm safe and assured in the fact that because I'm a massive Daredevil fan, I don't have to worry about like that show yeah. being uprooted and yeah. having it be like diluted by Disney. But yeah, I'm kind of annoyed that we're not going to get to see new characters make that way through. And mm. is that kind of the door kind of now shut for those characters? Well, it's definitely shut on smaller characters, yeah. isn't it? It's definitely like if you haven't already had your show by now, there's they're only going to be hitting the big ones. It would probably make sense that they would do like an Iron Man one or yeah. stuff that they know sells or puts butts in seats. 
would be quite interesting if they did a Hulk one, a Hulk TV show. Mm. Oh yeah, like a homage like the classic kind yeah, of... Yeah, like, that could be quite When cool. it was called David Banner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old Dave. Yeah. Don't make Dave angry, because Dave's going to kill you. Yeah. And that's been the news. That's it's, been the news. again, an uncertain time, but it's always exciting to see Disney throw their massive dongs of money around, isn't it? the Mickey dong on the, the table. Mickey, the Mickey dong is on the table. <laughs> but... Uh-oh. <laughs> but you know, let us know what you think about this. Which shows are you worried about losing, if at all? And what shows do you think might be there? And I'd like to put out a little challenge to you. Come up with a Disneyfied version of the shows we already have. Like we've just done with the Punisher musical and the Punisher legal case court of law one. <laughs> Do it, for, do it for ones that are already there. Just, just law and order, just music. Play. Yeah, yeah, just, just like come up with the most cheesiest, family-friendly versions of the stuff that we've already got. I'd like to see them. As always, I've been Jules. He has been Ewan. Subscribe to whatculture.com. Then go back to whatculture.com again. I f- that one up. Dot com it. Yeah, I've dot com it. Dot but com I'm going to keep going with it. Go, go back to whatculture.com for more news and articles like this every goddamn day. And we'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh. My hands. Oh! That's what climbing does to you. Oh my god! Mm. I used to get those when I used to drum. I don't. I, I never. Jesus Christ! Oh my god!